Hello friends, welcome to Open Source Scope. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the early animation devices called as the Thaumatrop. So let's see what exactly is this device and how the initial early stages of animation began with this device. Well, the invention of this device is credited to Sir John Herschel, who was a lot of things, English polymath, mathematician, astronomer, chemist, inventor, and experimental photographer. Uh, but the person who made it famous is John Ayrton of Paris, who made it popular around in 1824 by demonstrating it in a Royal College of Physicians. So what exactly is this particular device? Let's have a look. Most probably as kids you might have seen it, but uh, let's have a look at it. What exactly is this particular device? So the device is basically a small disc in which there are pictures on two sides. So you could have a bird and a cage and it is supposed to be attached to two pieces of string so that you can turn it around. So like here I have made uh, one of these devices where uh, here you can see that this is a kind of a cage and on the other side this is a cat fine so the idea is when i spin it around like this or twirl it around like this these two images will be combined together and it will give you a feel that the cat is inside the cage or both of the images are mixed up so basically why this happens well this is basically happening uh, because of a concept of persistence of vision. It's about the images that we see by our eyes and uh, by which is understood by our brain. So the image is there in our vision for a fraction of a second. So it is not immediately removed. So any kind of movement that is happening it stays there. So if you look at an image once and look at another image, uh, the previous image remains there for a fraction of a second. So uh, the same principle is used in this particular device. Like for example here I have shown a bird and a flag. Now if I draw these images back to back on a disc and if I rotate this disc, the images will be continuously changed in front of my eyes. But again, at a certain speed, if these are changed before the image is vanished because of the persistence of vision, it will be there again and same for the bird. And what is going to happen is both the images will overlap in my vision and I'll get a feel or an illusion that the bird is uh, printed on the flag or maybe the cat is inside the cage. So let's try uh, a demonstration for this. I'll try spinning it in front of you over here in front of the camera. The effect may not be uh, as expected but uh, uh, we can just try it and see if it works and uh, most probably you might get a feel of the cat is inside the cage okay so we'll try the other one also this I'm just going to connect it to my uh, drill machine okay let's see if this works Okay, so, so that is how you get a feel. Now because of the it's on the camera, it may not be that effective, but if you try it in real life, you will get a better effect of this. So this was one of the early animation devices called as a thaumatrop. You can uh, try experimenting with different images and 
try to put the images uh, and have fun just uh, one thing that you have to be careful is when you are making the images so if you want the text over here you will notice that the text is at a different place and this is on the other side so you have to be careful while uh, making the images which has to go inside each other and they are not exactly in the center so try it out have fun and enjoy some basic animation thanks for watching the video if you like the video do subscribe to my channel press the bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching